It's never been easier to check if your device is connected to the internet on both Android and iOS. Let me show you. I've just found one small but quite useful KMP library called Connectivity with the letter K. If you check the official source code, you will find a network connection enum class that has three different entries. When there is no connection, when there is a Wi-Fi only, and when there is a mobile network only. What I would add here, however, is one more entry to represent when both Wi-Fi and a mobile network are available. In that case, I'm not sure which one of those two would waste the bandwidth, but still, it's a possible scenario. Nevertheless, the common interface which is shared between platforms is called connectivity. And here, you can see what kind of properties we will be able to access in our code. So, we have a simple boolean value to indicate whether an internet connection is available or not. We have that same boolean value wrapped inside a state flow to observe it in a real time. And we have a network connection enum as a standalone value, but also as a value wrapped in a state flow as well. Pretty convenient API. Now, I'm not gonna go deeper into this uh, source code of this library because uh, I have already done that. But you can definitely check that out and see how it works behind the scenes. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to create a video where uh, we together analyze the source code of uh, some uh, useful third-party library like this one. If uh, I get enough likes on that comment, I may consider that idea. Anyhow, let's uh, jump into the project and see how we can implement this in our code. Don't worry, it's uh, relatively easy. So I have prepared here a simple KMP project that uh, I have generated with a KMP wizard. The first thing, open up the Gradlebill file of the Compose app module and uh, let's add this dependency. Next, in this uh, common main uh, app Kotlin file, where we share the UI, in this case for Android and iOS, I will add uh, two text elements. The first one should be for the network connection state flow and a second one for a boolean network indicator. For the simplicity, let's remember and initialize the connectivity class right here. But in most cases, you would provide and inject this class from somewhere else. By using a coin dependency injection library, for example. Also, comment down below if you would like to see a full video tutorial about dependency injection in a composed multi-platform environment. Nevertheless, after that, just declare here two more variables to observe those states. Then, pass them down below and we are good to go. We can now launch an Android emulator and test it out. As you can see, by default on this emulator, both the Wi-Fi and the mobile network will be turned on. However, when both of them are active, I can see here a Wi-Fi. Now, if I go and disable the Wi-Fi, only then the mobile network will show up here as an active and available. And if I turn off that one as well, we will see that the internet connection is now not available at all. So far so good, it works. Now I'm gonna launch an Xcode so that we can test it out on an iOS simulator. Here on an iOS simulator we don't have an option to disable an internet connection. And it's a little bit harder to test it out. Even though I know it will work, it still bothers me. One of those solutions would be to disable an uh, internet connection on my MacBook, and that way it will reflect on this uh, simulator itself. Which will now display none as a network connection, and uh, false because the internet is uh, no longer available. And there you go, so that's how you can uh, easily check and uh, observe a, a network uh, connectivity on uh, both Android and iOS. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to give a star to this repository if you like it. But also, hit that like button if you want to see some more useful content like this one. Thank you for watching.